um, simulates comfortably about. That's the body. From those to the head. That's the mind. Consciously move the awareness from toes to the head, relaxing the legs, relax the back, relax the arms and the shoulders, relax the neck, head and the face. Become aware of your thoughts. Let go of the thoughts. Be in the present moment. Connecting with the breath. Every inhalation, feel the abdomen expand. And every exhalation, allow the abdomen to sink in towards the back, back sinking down to the mat. Breathe deeply, breathe slowly. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and when I stretch your body, stretch your whole body, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn to one side and sit up for the breath. Sit up straight, close your eyes. Jananam, Bhutaganadi, Savitam, Kapit Jambo, Palisar, Bakshikam, Umasutam, Shokuminashi Karanam, Namami Vignashur, Father Pankajam, Shirananam, Kunkumarak the Varnam, Mahamadim, Divimayur of Ahanam, Udrasisunam, Surisanian Adam, Buham Sadam, Charanam, Prabate. Ya Kutain to Shar Hartabra, Ya Shubrabastra Vita, Ya Vina Vardanamanitikara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma to the Shankara Prabhupti Beer, Deva Sada Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishi Shudarya Baha, Om Namashivaya Guruve, Sachitan and the Mutae. Nishpra Panchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Ate Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ate Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shri Sarvart Sadike, Charanye Grim Pate Gari, Nara Yani Namostate, Nara Yani Namostate, Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Namah Shivaya. Welcome to the class. Let's get ready for the class.
Kapalabhadi, back straight, hands on the knees, in chin mudra. Inhale a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Kapalabhadi. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one two 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 Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. For the breath retention, inhale a deep, comfortable breath. Gently hold the breath. Bring the awareness to the third eye center. Relax the body. Keep the back straight. Slowly with control, exhale, inhale, exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati, focus on the abdomen, back straight. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One two 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 one two
the body, relax the breath, relax all the facial muscles, the jaw, the ears, the back of the head, the top of the head, and get ready to hold the breath. Inhale a deep, comfortable breath, just a little less than your lung capacity, and very gently hold the breath. Palatati balances the nervous system and tones the digestive organs. It strengthens the lungs. Those who have respiratory ailments, this works very well. Slowly, with control, exhale. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. We get ready for the alternate nostril breathing. Place your right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Through both the nostrils, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Block the right nostril through the left. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Focus at the third eye center. Mentally repeat any person mantra you have or the universal mantra on. Through the left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath gently. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, a long breath, hold breath. <clears throat> Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, a complete exhalation. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Alternate nostril breathing balances the flow of energy between the left and the right nostrils. Between the left and the right sides of the body too. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, retain. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently. Watch your body. Watch the mind. Just let go.
through the left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, retain. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, on four, gently. Relax the body, relax the mind. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, on four. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. For the breath, last round, seventh round. <clears throat> Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath. Last retention. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Stay with your eyes closed. With normal, natural breathing. Relax the body. Enjoy the inner peace, silence, serenity. Feel the changes taking place in the mind. The breath is more calm, more peaceful, more relaxed. Slowly stretching your legs forward. Please lie down, take rest and relax in Shavasana. Arms and legs apart. Keep the awareness on the breath. Do not allow the mind to wander. Slowly bring your legs together, take a, take a deep conscious breath, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, stretch the whole body, moving the toes forward and pull the toes in, pressing the lower back down, stretch, stretch and release the stretch. And the knees turn to one side, please sit up and stand up for sun salutation. First round, 
Taking two deep breaths before we begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The feet together, inhale. As you exhale, join the hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears and push the buttocks forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch the body forward, reach down, hands and feet in one straight line. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank, abdomen tucked in. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes, inverted V. Inhale, bring your right leg forward, right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands and look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhaling, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Left leg, inhale forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale. Join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Knees straight, elbows straight. Exhale, stretch forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back. Look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Keep the body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Stay here and breathe. Keep trying to push the heels more down if the heels are lifted up above the mat. Elbow straight, knee straight, head in line between the arms. Push the chest more down and tuck the abdomen more in. Focus on slow breathing. And the next inhalation, bring your right leg forward. Place the right foot between the hands. Move the left leg more back and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, reach up, arch back and look up. Push the buttocks all the way forward. Exhale, release. Excellent. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way and look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Let's stay in the plank. Hold the posture, breathe. Shoulders aligned with the wrist, abdomen tucked in. Back straight like a tabletop. Hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, 
five slowly. As you exhale, bring the knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes, inverted V. Stay here once again and breathe. Allow the breath to slow down. Push the chest down, the shoulder blades come together. Keep looking to the toes or the navel. On the inhalation, bring your left leg forward, place the left foot between the hands and move the right leg more back, stretch your chin up. As you exhale, bring the right leg forward, strain the forward bend, shift the body weight forward. And if your knees are bent, please straighten one knee and the other knee without lifting the hands off the mat. Try bringing the chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. As you inhale, reach forward, reach up. Pull up with your waist and push the buttocks forward. Look up to the hands. Very good. Exhale, release. Fourth round. Inhale and exhale. Palms together to the chest. Inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale, reach forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, then look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go up. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps up, arch back, follow the breath. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go breath. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Last round. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale, lengthen forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest on the forehead. <clears throat> Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back all the way, look up. Exhale, release. Last time on the left, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch forward, inhale, reach up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Please sit down, lie down, take rest in Shavasana.
Slow down the breathing. Watch your body from toes to the head. Let go all the tension, all the tightness. So namaskar, a warm-up practice for the entire body from toes to the head. We worked on all the internal organs, all the body systems with this practice. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms up, giving a good stretch to your body. Stretch, release the stretch. Now get ready for the single leg raise, arms by the side of the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pulled up, move the shoulders down, tuck the chin in, inhale, raise the right leg straight up. With control, pushing the heel out, exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Now bring the left foot across the right thigh. As you inhale, raise the right leg up and bend the right knee, hold the right shin bones with your hands. So insert the left hand from between the legs to hold the leg, right leg. Stay here, take two breaths. Push the left knee more away from the body. Lower back pressing on the mat. Now on the exhalation, lift the head and chest, come up. <clears throat> so pull the right knee towards the chest and keep moving the left knee away from the body. Relax the neck muscles, relax the shoulders, close your eyes and take a few breaths. Slowly release the head and chest down, release the arms down, raise the right leg all the way up, inhale. With control, exhale, bring the right leg down and bend the left knee into the chest. Now stretch the left leg up. As you inhale and with control, exhale, bring the left leg down. For the left side, cross the right foot on the left thigh. As you inhale, raise the left leg up and then you bend the left knee. Hold the left shin bones, stay here for two breaths. Keep moving the right knee away from the body with your lower back pressing down, breathe. On the exhalation, raise the head and chest, come up. Try pulling the left knee closer and move the right knee away. Neck has to relax. Breathe. We're working on the hip joint by doing this posture. With the leg raises, we strengthen the abdominal muscles, the lower back muscles. Slowly as you exhale, put the head and chest down, release the arms down, raise the left leg all the way up as you inhale. With control, exhale, bring the left leg down and hug the right knee into the chest. Now inhale, raise the right leg all the way up and with control, exhale, bring it down. Let's do the double leg raises. So if you've been putting the arms by the side of the body or under the body, let's try with the uh, hands under the head. But of course, if the back is not good, listen to your body, hands under the head. As you inhale, raise both your legs up. Push the heels out with control, exhale, bring the legs down. Second time, inhale up, we'll do it six times. Exhale down. Third time, inhale up. Exhale down, four up, inhale. Exhale down, five up, inhale. Exhale down, one more time, inhale up. 
and exhale, bring the legs all the way down. Now bend the knees into the chest. Press the lower back down just for a while, stay here. And now you place the feet flat on the mat, separate the feet hip distance apart, knees apart, stretch the arms in line with the shoulders with palms facing down from Madhvatasana. On the exhalation, move the knees to the right and turn the head to the left. Separate the feet apart, hip width. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knees to the right, left, head to the right. Inhale, come up. Two more times. Exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, knees right, head left. Inhale up. Exhale, knees left and head right. Inhale up. Now bring the knees into the chest. Stretch your legs all the way up, inhale. With control, exhale, bring the legs down. Give a good stretch to your body, take a deep breath in. Release the stretch. When the knees turn over, let's take rest in the child's pose, Shashankasana. We mentally and physically prepare ourselves for the headstand practice. So while you rest, relax in Shashankasana, visualize the steps of the headstand. Visualize the body upside down. Please sit up on the heels. Let's get ready. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the forearms close to the knees. Stretch your arms forward and interlock your fingers loosely. Lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up and walk forward. Just take two breaths here first. Now you bend the knees one by one or together into the chest. Stay here for two breaths. There is no hurry, take your time. Whenever you find yourself ready, move the knees up with control and then straighten the legs up. That's not an issue. Please try it again. You learn to balance after you have a fall a few times. Those who are up in the headstand, please keep holding with your abdomen pulled in, legs relaxed. That's very good. <clears throat> Just a few more seconds here, here. Uh, those who are up in the headstand, please follow the steps. Bend the knees, bring the knees into the chest and bring the feet down into the child's pose. So, and when you're ready, please sit up and lie down in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. The 
if you're still trying to come up into the headstand, you must know that we are changing the center of gravity of the body. So never be in hurry. You should go up slowly to find your balance and hold for a while where the balance is at its best before you move further. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and give a nice stretch to your body. Stretch, release the stretch. Get ready for the shoulder stand. Arms close to the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pulled in, chin tucked into the chest. Inhale, raise the legs up, trunk up, support your back into the shoulder stand. Once you are up, adjust your body. You may like to bend the knees to the forehead to bring the elbows closer, please do that. Or just take your time, adjust here and there to straighten the back more. Body weight shifted entirely on the shoulders if the neck is fine. But it's pushing towards the head. Relax the legs, the feet, the calves, the thighs, the buttocks. You close your eyes and still the body. <clears throat> It's stand and shoulder stand, the inversions. Reverse the effect of gravity on the body and the reverse flow of blood helps in tissue regeneration. So as you may notice, the deep abdominal breathing is taking place automatically. Rejuvenating the whole body with this practice Sarvang Asana. This posture is helpful in maintaining the facial youth. We work on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. <clears throat> Now lengthen up the body as you inhale and on the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head with control. Inhale the right leg up, exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up, exhale the right leg down one more time. So as you move the right leg down, the left leg should not Move down. It should be lifted up. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Now adjust the body for halasan. On the exhalation, bring both your legs down with control. And only if the toes touch the floor, you should be releasing your arms on the mat. Stay up. Stay there. Knees pushed away from the forehead, tailbone lifted up. Breathe slow, long and deep. Every exhalation, contract the abdomen. So the plow pose makes the spine very flexible, nourishes all the spinal nerves and massages the internal organs in the abdomen. Very effective posture for those who have 
stomach problems, the constipation, or any other abdominal disorder. Now support your back and separate the legs apart. Hold the toes. Do not let the spine sink down towards the mat. Just keep the tailbone lifted up as you do this. Now join the palms in prayer position and point the palms up towards the ceiling. Very good. Stay up. Breathe. Slowly release the hands. Hold the toes once again. Now bring the hands on the back. Bring the legs together. Place the, place the arms down on the mat. Lift the legs slightly off the mat and come down vertebra over vertebra using your arms as bricks without lifting the head up. Release the legs all the way down. Turn the head side to side and get ready for Setu Bandhasan. Bend the knees, hold your ankles. As you inhale, lift your buttocks up and come up. Chest close to the chin, thighs parallel to the mat. And knees and feet are just hip width apart, not wider than that. Keep breathing. Setu Bandhasana strengthens the abdominal, ab abdomen and the lower back. And with the entire series of shoulder stand, we work on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. Keep breathing. Makes the spine more flexible. Very good. Slowly exhale, come down. Now prepare for chakrasan. Hands under the shoulders, fingers turned in. As you inhale, lift the buttocks up, press the hands and come up. Stay up, breathe. Those who like to hold here can stay here. Now we're going for variations. Raise the right leg up. Bring it down. Left leg up. Down. Right arm up. Down. Left arm up. Down. Try to bring the feet towards the hands, hands towards the feet, just try it. Very good. And slowly come down. Hug the knees into the chest. Let's come up in uh, Pavan Muktasan. On the exhalation, raise the head and chest, come up. Stay here comfortably, no tension in the shoulders, lower back pressing down. Breathe. Pull the knees more into the chest. Slowly exhale. Put the head down. Release the arms. Raise the legs up. Inhale. And with control, exhale. Bring the legs down. Now prepare for Matsyasan, the fish pose. Arms under the body. Shoulder blades together. Hands stretching down. In initial adjustment is very important to have a good final posture. Raise the head and chest, come up, inhale, look to the toes. Lift the chest up, arch your back and bring the top of the head on the mat, touching down. Now stay here. Keep the body weight on the elbows, so press the elbows down when you feel pressure on the neck. And watch your breathing. Make the inhalations long, exhalations longer. Let the breath reach touch the abdominal organs. Matsyasana increases the lung capacity, strengthens the lungs and strengthens the neck region. For those who have respiratory ailments, this posture is a blessing. So we are taking more air than usual when the lungs, when the chest is so expanded. So use this time to breathe deep and breathe slow.
Inhale, raise the head and chest. Come up, look to the toes. Exhale, come down. Release the arms. Make fist. Rotate the wrist clockwise a few times, anti-clockwise. Turn the head side to side and relax in Shavasana. Feel the release of all kind of feelings and emotions as you release this posture. Mind is light, upper body is light. Now give a good stretch to your body. Feet together, arms over the head, interlock your fingers, stretch your whole body, stretch, stretch and release. Bend the knees, down to one side, please sit up. Let's do the Badkunasan or the butterfly. Join the soles together. Hold the toes, keep the back straight and move the knees up and down, focusing on the inner thighs. <clears throat> Butterfly makes the hip joint more flexible, releases the lower back pain. And whenever you are doing the butterfly, focus always on the inner thighs so try to push the knees more down. Whether you do it slow or fast, it's not important, but you must keep your awareness alive. Now separate the legs, just back feet apart. You're getting ready for Meru Vakrasan. So follow the instruction and you get it. Not by, too wide, just mat with apart. Keep the legs on the mat. Yeah, keep the back straight. Now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Shoulders, sideways, very good. On the exhalation, twist the body to the right. So the left hand should be holding the right toes and the right arm stretches away from the body towards the back. Look to the right hand, very good. Remove stiffness of the back, increases the spine flexibility and you feel a uh, better posture in Pashimottanasan. The palm facing forward towards the camera, backhand. Slowly come back to the center, arm stretching in line. On the exhalation, twist to the other side. Very good. Look behind. Keep breathing. Dr. Ritu, the chest should be lifted up. Don't drop the body down, yes. Slowly come back to the center and release the arms down. Now join the legs together and we get ready for um, Janu Shishasan. So bend the left knee, place the left foot along the right thigh. Good. Keep the back straight. Now inhale, stretch the arms up along the ears, lengthen up. As you exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. It's important you relax the body. Wherever the body reaches, it's fine. Work with your breath to have a better posture. Inhalation, lengthen the back. Exhalation, just relax, let go. Paribhrita Janu Shishasan, twist your body, open the chest up towards the ceiling, hook the right big toe between the index and the middle finger of the right hand and stretch your left arm from over the ear to hold the toes or just keep stretching the arm. You have a good stretch in the left side. Left elbow should be straight. If you're stretching the arm without holding the toes, very good. Look up. So the twist takes place from the waist. It's not just the shoulders that twist. Create more space in the hip joint if you're feeling tight in the hips by moving the left knee more away from the body. Left knee. Slowly center the body, inhale, come up. Release the arms, exhale and change the side. Stretch the left leg forward, bend the right knee, right foot touching the left thigh. Inhale, stretch the arms up, lengthen up. As you exhale, slowly, gently, push forward and come down. Just let go, relax for a few breaths.
Now twist your body for Parivrata Janu Shishasana. Hook the left big toe between the index and the middle finger of the left hand and stretch the right arm. Look up. Very good. Breathe. Now center the body, stretch forward and reach up, inhale. Exhale, bring the arms down. Pashimuttanasana, stretch both your legs forward. We'll be here for 30 seconds. Inhale, stretch your arms up, lengthen up the body. As you exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. That's very good. Just relax. Follow the breath, long inhalation, longer exhalation. That's the key to have a better posture. Bend the elbows slightly, push the knees more down, flex the neck muscles. Close your eyes. Some internal adjustment of the body will help you do better. As you inhale, stretch forward and reach up. Exhale, place the hands behind, lower the head back. Inhale, lift your buttocks up and come up. Incline plane. Purvottanasana, stay up, breathe. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down. Relax on your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toe stretching, heels apart. Pashimutanasan, tones and massages the abdominal organs and it stimulates the circulation to the nerves and muscles of the spine. Those who have abdominal disorders, this box posture works very well on those people. Just like if you have high blood sugar, regular practice helps you with that. Just let go, relax, recharge, mentally visualize the Pujangasana. Get ready, forehead down, legs together, elbows close to the chest, hands into the shoulders, the cobra. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up. Push down on the lower abdomen and lift the chest more up without raising the shoulders up. Breathe, close your eyes. Slowly exhale, bring the head down. Turn the head to the left and relax just for two breaths. Shalab Asanda Locust, draw the arms under the body. Hands position, maybe interlocking works better or make fist or place the hands down. Just chin stretch you forward. Inhale, raise the right leg straight back and up. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Get ready for locust. Shalabhasan. Adjust your arms. Adjust your chin. Visualize the posture. Take two breaths. Now, as you inhale, raise both your legs and come up. Very good. Press. You first use the lower back muscles. Then press on the arms and do your maximum stretching. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Flex with head to one side. <clears throat> mm. 
Mm, get ready for Dhanurasana, the bow pose. Place the forehead down, bend the, bend the knees and hold the ankles. As you inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Relax the face, close your eyes and pull the legs more up, chest more up. Breathe. Slowly exhale, come down. Now place the hands under the shoulders and give yourself a good stretch. Come up on the knees and the hands. If you would like to stretch in Majriyasan, please do that. And then get ready for Vyagrasana. Now keep the back in neutral position. Stretch the right leg back. Line with the body, don't arch your back yet. Place the left arm forward, the pinky finger towards the floor. And press on the left shin bones. Don't lean to one side, center the body. Now you bend the right leg and hold the right ankle with your left hand. Arch your back, stretch your chin up. Pull the knee up, pull the knee up. Yes, very good. And slowly release the posture. Let's do it for the other side. Stretch the left leg back and the right arm forward. First, stay here. Press on the right shin bones. Find your balance, good balance. Now you bend the left knee and hold the left ankle with your right hand. Arch your back, stretch the chin up, pull the knee up, the left knee. Find your balance, excellent practice. And slowly release. Now you relax in the child's pose. Separate the knees apart and stretch your arms forward. Push the chest down into the mat. Take a few breaths here. Please slowly sit up for the half spinal twist. Take your time, join the knees together and sit down to the right side of your body. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale, lengthen up the body. As you exhale, twist, lean forward, hold the ankle or just keep hugging the knee towards the chest. Look to the left shoulder. Close your eyes and stay here for a few breaths. By holding the posture, we are creating that pressure on the abdominal, abdominal organs, thus stimulating the abdominal organs. Keep the spine straight. And by doing it on both sides, we rotate the vertebrae in both the directions, which improve the flexibility of the spine. Now, as you inhale, raise the right arm up and exhale, bring it down, change the side. Sitting to the left, bring your right foot across the left thigh, place the right hand behind, stretch your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right and try holding the ankle or hugging the knee or pushing the knee in using your elbow. Look to the right shoulder. Keep the back straight as much as possible. So, Akshay, please move the right foot a little forward. The right shoulder, uh, the left shoulder is hunched. So shoulders have to be in one straight line. This is better. Very good. Inhale, raise the left arm. Exhale, bring it down and hug the knees into the chest. Take rest for a while with your forehead into the towards the knees, to the knees. Rest up. Slowly release the posture and please do the crow pose kakasan, the balancing posture. Come up into the squatting position. 
Like in the rough square with your hands in the feet, rest your knees on the upper rounds. Look at a point in front. And transfer the body weight forward from feet to the hands. Very good. So stay calm in the mind. And if you've done enough, you can please stand up, those who are done. Just lift one foot up instead of pulling both the feet up. Very good, stand up. We get ready for Trikonasan. Use the length of the mat. Separate the legs apart. Three and a half to four feet. Turn the right foot to the right and left foot in. Keep facing forward. Stretch your left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Bend down to the right side. That's very good. Look in front or look up. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down and change the side. Stretch the right arm up this time as you inhale. Exhale, bend down to the left side. With the Trikonasana, we are working on the flexibility of the hip. And those who have flat feet, this posture is very helpful. And feel a good stretch in the right side of the body this time. So it's very good for reducing the abdominal fat, fat from the sides of the abdomen. Stay up, breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down, join the legs together. Time for fun relaxation. Please sit down and lie down. It's time for the body to integrate the effects of this one hour class. Let the breath settle down. Legs comfortably apart, feet relaxed to the sides, shoulders away from the ears, arms six to eight inches away from the body, palms turned up, chin close to the chest. Watch this adjustment. Mentally relax the toes, the soles, the heels, and the ankles. Relax the shins, the calves, the knees, the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. Observe the legs. Release all the tension, all the tightness, and absorb this energy, the energy that you've created with this practice of one hour. So let the muscles relax, let the joints relax. Feel a good relaxation to the legs. Say to yourself, my legs are relaxed. Relax the abdomen, relax the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. Relax the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Relax the shoulder blades, the space between the shoulder blades. Relax the spinal column. Allow the relaxation. Let the gravity pull you down. Feel a good relaxation to the back and say to yourself, my back is relaxed. Become aware of your arms. Relax the fingers, the palms, the wrist. Relax the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms.
Relax the shoulders, the neck and the throat. Relax the mouth, the jaw. Relax the ears, the cheekbones, the nostrils, the eyes, the forehead. Relax the top of the head, the back of the head. Absorb the lightness in the arms, shoulders, neck, head and the face. And say to yourself, my arms, neck, shoulders, head and the face are completely relaxed. The abundant prana which you have generated with this practice is used for healing and energizing the body systems during the relaxation. Focus deeper to the abdominal organs. Bring your focus there. Visualize the organs. And use this energy as a healing energy to all the internal organs in the abdomen. Relax the lungs. the heart, the brain. Say to yourself, all my internal organs and all my body systems are functioning perfectly fine. There is no block in the body My whole body is rejuvenated, becoming aware of the mind. Let go the thoughts. If the mind is wandered, bring it back by focusing on the breath. Just let go the thoughts. No more gripping, no more grasping. Let go in the body, let go in the mind. Relax, relax, relax.
awareness back to the body, move the toes, move the fingers, the feet, the hands, the legs, the arms, down the head side to side, take a deep conscious breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms of the head, find a gentle stretch to the body, release the stretch, bend the knees, down to one side, take your time, support with your hand, whenever you're ready, please sit up for the prayer. Yajamahe, Sukandim, Pushti Bartanam, Urva, Rukumeva Bandanan, Rithyor, Mukshiyama, Vitar, Om Prayambakam, Yajamahe, Sukandim, Pushti Bartanam, Urva, Rukumeva Bandanan, Rithyor, Mukshiyama, Vitar, Om Prayambakam, Yajamahe, Sukandim, Pushti Bartanam, Urva Rukumiva Bandanan, Rithyor Mukshya Mam Rita, Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Padrani Pashantu Makarsit Kupagave, Asatoma sad gamaya, Tamsoma jyotir gamaya, Rithyor ma amratangamaya, Om purnamada purnamidam purnat, Purnamudachyate, Purnasya purnamadaya, Purnameva vashishyate, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thanks to the masters. Hari Om Thank you.